Hey guys, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday video with me, Zombie Grim, and i um, on my server with this here simple lock, or simple combination lock mechanism. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started into that right now. As you see, it says a simple combo locked door. Uh, I can't remember who I saw this video of, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people made this combination lock, but uh, beyond this room, I went a step farther. So, uh, I know the first time I saw it, I think it was Mr. Crayfish or somebody, maybe even uh, Jack Frost Miner, but they showed this little combination lock, little little six lever I went ahead and did the pleasures of writing down the combo so that way we can make this easier. It's two, five, six, so two, five, six, and it's open. And I decided to go a step farther for this room and make a buttload of switches. So that way it could be more like an actual combination lock. And I decided to make the letters all wavy. So. The combination for this one would be 2, 5, 6, 8, 11, 13, 14. So 2, 5, 6, 2, 5, 6, um, 8, 11, 13, 14. 8, 11, 13, 14. And it's open. And now I will take a moment and show you how to build it okay so I'm going to go into third person because I build better in third person but what you're gonna need is an iron door some redstone torches uh, you don't need a repeater uh, a levers redstone uh, one of these can be a block of your choice or you can use different blocks I did it for the look so a block of your choice and signs if you want to label your switches. So, let's jump right into this now. Uh, okay, that's going to be a little bit offset. So I'm actually going to build that away from that. So, okay, cow. We'll build that there and there. Go ahead and bring it on up. Then you're going to put your iron door face this way. So, we, you'll see later. But you want it to be in the open position right now. It will all be explained or uh, shown later. Uh, then go ahead and build off a little bit off that. Sorry, like I said, I like to use different blocks for the look. So you do not have to use different blocks. That does not matter. Uh, go ahead and... Sheep, get out of here. Build up your walls. It's best if, I think, my personal opinion, it is best if you do uh, a different color block where your switches are going to be. So that way, whenever it comes to the redstone process, you uh, don't get lost behind the walls. But then you're going to want to take the time and put your levers there. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and make little... Signs four, five, six. Okay, now to make it easier on yourself, I would go ahead and dig out a hole right here, and dig out one underneath that, too, on both sides. Okay, both sides. Now, here is where you're going to want to start having your redstone torches and your um redstone itself. Now, first off, we'll go ahead, no, no, we'll wait, that's kind of a last minute thing. But basically, what we want to do is make it to where you click these and that door will open. But, obviously, without any redstone right now, since they are not connected to this, oops, since they are not connected to this... Ah, come on! Since they're not connected to this block or this block, they will not work yet. 
yet. One second, I must pause the video for a second. Okay, um, yes, let's go ahead and put the red torches. The red torches, I left this, oops, sorry, where is it? I left this over here open so we could see the mechanics. The redstone torches are the ones representing the ones that you switch. So, whichever ones you want to be switched, use a redstone torch. Okay, so, I'm on the right side of the wall. We'll go ahead and make it one and two. And then come over here, and we'll put five as the one. So, five. Okay. Then you'll want to break out your block of your choice. And wherever you don't have a redstone torch, you place it at the base. Okay? And once you have done so, boom, boom, you want to get out your redstone, place one on top of that block, underneath the redstone, on top of that block, bring it on out here, and stop right there, dig a hole, okay? And you'll want to do the same process over here underneath the redstone torches, over the block, right out here, dig a hole. Then what you're going to want to do is get out your redstone torch, place it on that side, make sure it's on the block, not on the ground, not on the base one, but on that block. And same over here. And what you're going to want to do is dig that out, dig that out, go ahead and dig that out. Oh shit, wrong one, my bad. That was a fail on my part. I want to dig that one out. Okay. One, two, three. Really, we don't need to dig, since we dug out the front, we don't need to dig out these, but I'm just showing you the process, if you want to go about a different process. But then you'll want to place a redstone there, and a redstone there. Then a redstone there, and a redstone there. And what you're going to want to do, what we have to do is, we need a block here, and here. Because we also need to place a redstone. This is where I said to dig out the holes. So then you'll want to place a redstone torch there. See, and that's why I said leave, leave it how it was. Because once it's actually activated, it will close. So now, the only way we can open this door, unless you break it, or unless you place a lever on one of those door, on one of those walls, is by entering the combination that we had picked, which was, I believe, 1, 3, and 5. No? Oh, crap. I'm wrong. It was that. Yes. Haha. -ha. And you have made a simple lock. And in order to get the lock like that, you just keep on going. You bring the walls out farther. Put more switches on there. Go behind them. And remember, whatever ones you want to be the switch that activates the door gets a redstone torch. And always remember to bring your redstone underneath the torches and also when closing it up I'll go ahead and show you so that way you don't cut your circuit just basically leave a whole hollow spot okay there's that I want that and since this one's got redstone torches, we can't really go right above it. Otherwise, it'll break the circuit. Or at least it does for me every time. I don't know about anybody else, but it does for me. Okay. All right. That's how you close up a side. And as you see, it still works. Still works. One, two, and three. And it still works. So, I will be making another video. I don't know if it'll be tonight or if I will be waiting until next Tuesday. Let's see here, where did that contraption go? It was an automatic nether portal, but for two player areas. I do believe I am going the wrong way. Nope, I'm going the right way. Here it is. And this is the two-player nether portal, so that way people can access it. And, uh, not people can access it, but uh, 
two people can go in, and it seemed more like a, uh, uh, like a uh, mini game or something. But when you turn it on, the light comes on, letting you know that it has worked. And then you turn it off by clicking that button, and that lets you know that it has worked. Sadly, it only, it doesn't go off automatically. But, um, and in future videos, we will be. Once I can figure out what I'm doing wrong, because I keep doing something wrong. Oop, that's a combination lock. <laughs> yes, I build a lot of those because I like to practice with them. Another combination lock. Um, where is it at? This will be an, an, a future update. This is my updated automatic farm. This is a combination of uh, an automatic farm that I saw built on YouTube, and this is a combination of my creativity. Um, 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 where the hell is it? I mean, these are very simple builds right here. The lava and, uh, water door. So, not really gonna have that one. This is gonna be in a future, uh, in a future video. Uh, the working, uh, automatic oven. And I'm gonna, I'm trying to make a simpler version, so that way it's not so... I mean, I mean, come on. If y'all haven't seen the behind of one of these things, there's just, it's too much. It's too much. I've got much more things that I'm wanting to, where is it? Why can I not find, is it one of these? It was this thing. Actually, it is this thing. Yeah. Cheese. Uh oh. Did it not work? Ah, yeah, it worked. Yeah, and I. This is the only successful one that I've gotten. Any other one I have tried has just been an utter failure. So, yeah, uh. Hopefully, y'all have enjoyed watching another tutorial from Zombie Grim. Uh. We might not have another tutorial tonight, but I will be doing some sort of adventure. I might do my uh, survival adventure because I accidentally went off camera and did a lot to it. So I might just go ahead and give you all a little preview of what's up. And then y'all can tell me whether or not it's good or not. But uh, I might wind up recording on the Locked Up series, but I don't know if it will be titled as a Locked Up series. But yeah. Anyways, um, hopefully you enjoyed watching this, and hopefully it was educational, and you know the drill, like and subscribe, and leave a comment, actually, if you can, leave a comment, let me know if I'm doing any good at this, because I'm still very new, so, yeah, just, uh, you know, take it easy, yeah, have a good day, uh, uh, bye-bye.